ln LEs. Okay. Well, let's see. We would have to take the ln maybe if there was a variable in there. So uh, let's see. So um, the way you wrote this was So you got negative. 1.4101. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to take the natural log here because these are just numbers. So we our calculator can just handle these straightforwardly. Oh, it's going to be the negative. Oh, it's going to be 2.929 e to the lower. Oh, you just did the whole multiplication. Okay, very good. So we can just multiply this times this. That's right. All right, so that would give us... So you got 2.929 times 10 to the 11th. Okay, that seems good. So, um, oh, yeah, so there's nothing but numbers here on the right-hand side. So we can just do this as 2.929 times 10 to the 11th, and what would the units be? Well, A0 was in decays per second. A0 was in decays per second, so A will be in decays per second too. And the fact that we used years for the times turns out not to matter, because those parts of the problem weren't interacting with each other. So all we had to do was make sure each part was consistent. We didn't have to do any unit conversions here, although you might on some problems. Does this match our prediction? Remember that we started with this many decays per second, and we were predicting, well, it's got to be less than this. Well, this is less than this. Mm -hmm. Also, um, our prediction would, was, remember this, would, I predicted it would be a little less than this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, is. and you're right, 2.9, exactly what you said. 2.9 decays per second. So the table was pretty close, but 59 years is a little bit more than 58. Mm -hmm. So to get the exact answer, we have to do it this way. Okay, so you can only use the table for the exact answer if the time is a multiple of the half-life. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you've got to use these equations. This is a really good example of the types of problems you can see on the test. And just like we were predicting, they gave us the half-life instead of k. So before we can use, uh, we, which equation did we use? We ended up using this one yeah. in this case. But we needed to know k first from uh, here. And then we just uh, plugged in. OK, so I don't think we've answered the full question yet. Um, the second, it's a fraction of nuclei that have to be. You could use this equation, although actually, so um, it, it sounds like you're trying to find n over n o. No, are they asking, yeah, aren't they asking fraction of that? Yeah. Isn't that means fraction n over n o? That's right, but this is not a very useful equation for working that out, because this, here that this would be embedded in the natural log. If we want to solve for this fraction, this is not useful because it's it embedded. Be then n, n over n o. We could use this. That's right, you just have to rewrite this. Okay. But we can do even better than this. Um, we can figure out already what A over AO is. How would we calculate A over AO? Uh, it's going to be Yeah, well, um, oh, no, no, e to the e, yeah, you could do this, but we can do it much more straightforwardly because we know what A is. It's going to be E to the negative 80, isn't it? We, we could do that, but there's an easier way. We know what A is. What is A? Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, we'll just divide the. Two yeah, we already know the numbers to divide. Yeah. It would be a good homework problem to check that you would get the same answer using E, but we can do it much more simply now yeah, using we'll the work just, that we've done. Okay. Just, we'll just simply divide our answers. Right. So what do I put on top? 2.929 times 10 to the 11th. Divided by 1.2 times 10 to the 12th. And
that song. What does this tell us? That this is a fraction of um, how decay, like how much it decay. This is the, the, the fraction of the current decay relative to the original decay. Or maybe, maybe the easier way to put it is that uh, this also tells us n over n zero, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be an easier way to interpret it. So how would I interpret this in terms of n and n zero? It's um, the fraction of nuclei that have decay. Decayed or that remain? Oh no, it's remained. Remain. Because what does N stand for? The number that remain. Yeah. So this tells us that about 0.244 fraction remains. Remains, so we need not to subtract and find the... Right, notice how easy, if we use this as the answer, we're wrong. It's going to be... Um, Yeah, if you get messed up, you should always do second and then quit. And quit is above the mode key. So you hit the second, and then you hit the mode oh. key, and that quits. So anytime you're, you're in a bad place in the calculator, hit second and then the mode key, and that gives you the quit function. Yeah, that's the, that's the best way to do it, rather than hitting clear. So two, three, four. It's, the, it's going to be some point, I mean, zero point four five six. So what's the calculation we should do? Uh, subtract from one. Yeah, not this minus one, but one minus yeah, this. One minus, one minus this will give you a positive 0.756. So, so what is the answer, this is our answers to the question? fraction remaining. N is the number remaining, but N over N0 is the fraction remaining. Notice that when we do these divisions, the units will cancel. Since the units cancel, this is just a fraction. It's not the number or the decays per second, it's just a fraction. fraction lost. So what's the answer, what are the answers to the question? Uh, it's going to be Yeah, the amount of decays after 59 years it's 2.9 times 10 to the 11 and decays per second. 0.756 fraction of loss. Is the um, fraction lost? Or say it's going to be fraction of nuclei that have decayed. That's right. So they got 2.9 times 10 to the 11 and 0.76. Very good. I would find this easier to interpret as a percent. I would say that we've lost um, um, about 75.6%. 75.6% lost, 24.4% remaining. But they just reported it like this. Does this match our prediction from the table? Well, we were predicting that the fraction decay would be close to 3 quarters. 75%. But we saw it would be a little bit more than 3 quarters, because a little bit more time has passed than this. Um, so both of our answers match our predictions from the table, but we couldn't get exact answers without doing this. Mm -hmm. All right, again, it would be a good homework problem to show that you could also figure out this ratio by using e to the negative kt. But we don't need to do that here because we know what a and a0 are, so from our previous work. Okay, so now you're seeing, uh, we can see why all the work that we did before goes into. All the stuff that we're talking about is tested here. They're talking, we have to see that the ratio between the a's is the same as the ratio between the n's. So we can use similar formulas uh, for these. Uh, we have to figure out which is the best formula to use. One thing that didn't give me any trouble was seeing how to figure out k from the half-life. So it's good yep. that you thought about I think that. I had a hard time with setting up table first. The table was tough. Notice that if you wanted to, you could have skipped the table. No, but I mean, is that it, it's good practice. I would uh, yeah. make mistakes because, it, yeah. because this helped me to yeah. see. Uh, oh, yeah, so I don't think we should skip it. Um, so this is really good practice for getting a better intuition for what's going on here. Do this column first. 
then this column, then this column, and then you might need some additional columns. Uh, technically, we didn't need the table at all. Technically, we could have done this purely mathematically, but we have much more intuition for what we're doing if we try to use the table as well, but the table can only give us an approximation um, in okay. this case. Um, so you have to be, label everything correctly. Originally, we had labeled this as A, but it's not A, it's A0. Zero. Otherwise, we don't know what to plug in. You did label the times correctly, so that was good. We have to see what the question is asking us for here, um, which was A. So this would definitely be an important problem to try again. 